Hello everyone, I'm Katerina Suprun. Today is November 13th and Militani is reporting. The Book M1 air defense systems have been adapted to American missiles. Air Force spokesman Yuri Inat said that the upgraded systems have already been tested at training grounds in the United States and will strengthen Ukraine's air defense. In an interview with Radio NV, he emphasized that these are, in particular, Sea Sparrow missiles. The fact that these missiles can be integrated with the Book Air Defense System has been repeatedly discussed on Militarni in our materials and on our broadcasts. In general, the adaptation of Western missiles to Soviet systems is a forced necessity, as the stock of missiles for the Book system is exhausted and there is nothing to replace it with, especially in the face of constant enemy air attacks. It is impossible to replace the existing systems with the same number or more Western systems quickly. Practice has shown this because new systems need to be manufactured, and this takes time. It is worth noting that Militarni reported that Ukraine is working on the production of missiles for the Buk air defense system. Ukrainian enterprises have mastered the repair of the old Buk missile 9M38M1. In addition, a new mixed solid rocket fuel with improved characteristics was developed. After the tests, refueling of the repaired missiles was to begin. Later, this development was to be used for a promising Ukrainian medium-range air defense system. There was also information about the purchase of equipment for the production of missiles for the Buk. But in order to set up such production, it is necessary to conduct tests, set up everything, and of course the most expensive thing, it takes time. So Ukrainian experts, together with Western partners, are working on projects called Frankensam that combine Western and Soviet technologies. So Book and Sea Sparrow are a kind of first swallow. But at the same time, there is already information about the adaptation of the Patriot missile to the Soviet anti-aircraft missile system. This veil has not yet been lifted. We will focus on the book and sparrow. This idea is not new. Similar projects have already been implemented, for example in Poland. They adapted the Sparrow to the Kub air defense system. The photo shows two Sparrow missiles and one original missile for the Cub system. The Czech version of the complex was re-equipped here with Aspid missiles integrated into the Cub system. The Buk missile system is a modified and modernized Kub, so it has the potential to use non-standard missiles. And now about the Sparrow. First, the RIM-7 Sparrow is a shipboard anti-aircraft missile adapted from the M-7 Sparrow aircraft missile. Secondly, it is known that the Sparrow is adapted to different types of launchers. There is a classic type used in many navies, and there are also original solutions, such as vertical installations, as on this frigate of the Royal New Zealand Navy. As for the land-based adaptation of RIM-7, the curb is not unique. Take, for example, the Taiwanese Skyguard air defense system, which adapted the Sparrow missile. Greece and Egypt also use RIM-7. The RIM-7 missile has a semi-active homing head, so another radar is needed to illuminate the target. This was the main problem for adapting this missile to Soviet systems. But there is information that an additional radar made in the United States or Europe was used to make everything work properly. It is not known whether this is an additional machine in the complex or another design solution. The Sparrow adapted to the Buck will have a shorter range than the original missile. In the ship version, its range is 19 kilometers. But the need to climb during a ground launch is likely to reduce it. Russian drones, missile wings, helicopters and airplanes will be the targets for the Sparrow. The missile will probably be able to shoot them down at an altitude of about 15 kilometers. The exact characteristics of the missile's height, range and speed in the adapted version are unknown, as the details of the adaptation itself are not known. But most likely in this format, Book plus Sparrow, it will be an object-based air defense system. While everything is more or less clear with the Book and Sparrow, it is not yet known what the Frankenstein with AIM-9 Sidewinder will look like. But at the same time, it is important to emphasize that all these solutions are temporary and should work until the shield over the Ukrainian sky is provided by Western air and missile defense systems. Subscribe to Militarni, like our videos, and see you in our next ones.